React 16.6 was released this week and code splitting with suspense is probably the most interesting feature, uh, at least in my opinion. In this video, I will show you how to implement code splitting with suspense and react.lazy. This new feature allows us to lazy load components, so they will be requested only when needed, helping performance. Uh, in this example I, that we can see here, I'm just showing and hiding an image. If basic, if I click on this button here, I just I change the state of this this component, so it renders uh, a component called cat.js, and when it's hidden, it basically doesn't render the the component. So, so that's a very simple example. So let's see the code. As we can see here, this is the the main app. This is just the default uh, app that is generated by uh, the Create React App tool. So I just did a little modification here. I basically added some some state. This this new uh, flag here. This is to show and hide the image. So by default it's false. And I I add these two methods. One to one to show the image. Another one to to hide the image. And here. Depending on, on the state of, of this flag, if it's false, I don't show the, the, the cat component, but if it's true, I show the cat component here. And when I click on the button, this change, changes the state of, the, of this flag. So um, this is the cat uh, component. It's just this div with, uh, with a simple image using the place kit and API. Here I just added some kind of style to the to the button. So before we implement uh, suspense and, and lazy loading, uh, let's see a few things here in the in depth tools. I have here the network tab open. Let's reload this. We can check out here the the state in the React uh, tools, I can show here the image if I change the state. So yeah, it's very simple. In the network tab, if I interact with this, we should not see any difference. So now let's see what happens when we implement lazy loading. So let's go to the code and um, we need to import here two modules, suspense and lazy. So this import will change now. Uh, instead of doing this, we will have to uh, create a new constant. We can call this cat and we should call lazy here and pass a anonymous function with the import. And here we put the path to the to the module, so it should be cut. Uh, let's say this. And the other thing we need to do is to wrap this component in the suspense component. And here we need to specify a callback. This will be used when the when the component is loading and for some reason is not shown yet. So we should see a, a, a spinner or something like that to give feedback to the user that something happen, is happening there. So this is suspense and let's close this here. Say this and I think that's it. So now if I click here, we should see something happening here. As you, as you can see, the component was loaded. And if we simulate a slow connection, let's say we are on 3G and reload this page. And if we click here, we should see the loading message. And that's the fallback we specified in the 
the props. And that's pretty much it. This is a very simple implementation. Obviously, it, it could be helpful to use uh, to use the suspense component in things like routing on um, probably some other um, cases. Uh, this component is still in progress. There are many features that will be released later. So I think things will get more interesting in the future. If this video was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and I see you on the next one. Thanks.